All right. You're welcome back. This is TV3 New Day. Thank you so much for staying with us. And of course, it's time now for the big issue. And so if you just tuned in, well, we're grateful. Make sure to also pass on the message that Aside TV was streaming live on Facebook at TV3 Ghana. And if you want to also share your opinion, ask questions, whatever it is, you can join us via Facebook at TV3 Ghana and drop your comments on there as well. But remember, add the hashtag TV3 New Day. You can also drop your comments on X and on Instagram with the hashtag TV3 New Day new day but share the link so as many people as possible can join the live stream you can also find us on dstv channel 279 and just a reminder that as we're watching the show and as we're discussing very important issues we're also giving you the chance to win some cool cash uh Ketsi cash out all you have to do is to make sure that first of all you're an mtn subscriber or a telesell subscriber just dial star 439 hash and select option two. Now option two represents the channel on which you're playing, which is TV3. And so that's why we're asking you to select option two so you can also win some cool cash. Three of you will get a thousand Ghana CDs each before the end of the show. So in total, we're giving 3,000 Ghana CDs to three of our viewers. And every morning this happens. And so if you've never won before, if you've never played before, this is your chance. Today might be your lucky day. Say a prayer before you play the game, but don't just say a prayer and play once. You have to play as many times as possible to increase your chances of winning. Now, this morning, we will be looking at the issue of Galamse, legal mining in the country, its impact on our river bodies, our forest areas, in fact, our food that we're consuming and the water as well. Supply of water, according to Ghana Water Company Limited, has reduced. In the central region, they're struggling uh, to produce water. In the past, where there was about 70% of um, you know, water available to be used in households, now they're saying that it has reduced to 40% because of turbidity, because of pollution in that water. Now, also in the Ashanti region, the Ghana Water Company Limited is saying that they are forced to shut down two of their plants because they are not able to keep up with um, you know, the cost of purifying our water. And that's because it is too polluted too many things in there as a result of illegal mining. In fact, if you look at some statistics, it says that um, we have around 7.6 million hectares, um, you know, of, of primary cover, forest cover, and 297,000 hectares are planted forests. But in 2022, Ghana lost 18,000 hectares of primary forest. That's nearly 70% increase from 2021. It was the biggest increase in forest loss of any country in recent years. And they gave reasons why we're losing our forest areas. And one of the main ones is mining. Illegal mining is contributing um, heavily to the loss um, you know, of our forest cover. And you remember, or maybe you don't, but the, the then finance minister back in June 2022 also spoke to us and indicated that 1.41 million hectares tree cover was lost in two decades. That is actually alarming. And then also, um, you go to how many forest um, you know, areas have been impacted. And we're told that 34 major forests in Ghana have been significantly impacted by illegal mining. So we're just going down downstream, literally. We're losing our forest cover, and that also means that um, climate change is going to be real. We've already started seeing the signs of that. But even beyond that, the food we're eating is going to be polluted because of the water that's been used um, to plant these crops and to irrigate our crops. Because over the weekend, I was at Trefo Prasso, and I spoke to a cocoa farmer who said that they don't have a choice. All their water bodies within the community are polluted. And so if they have to water their crops, they fetch from the same pra that is now brown filled with mercury and lead and all kinds of polytines. And that's what they're using to water their plants. So are you thinking about all the other crops that they're growing and the fact that once they harvest, they bring it down south to us um, to consume? And that means that we are all at risk. What are we doing about this situation? What is leadership? What is parliament also saying on this matter? Well, the Speaker of Parliament spoke on this matter and also some MPs yesterday on the floor of parliament spoke and this is what they had to say. Galamsey. If we take census, some of you will be there. And the people you are talking to are aware. It's not that they are not aware, they are aware that you are, you are, some of you are participating in it. So please, first desist from doing it yourself. Don't go to them for the money for your campaigns. Don't go to source their votes. Let them see you work. 
truly it's a disgrace that we've gone to this far. Look at the water. To ensure that anybody, whether you are a religious person, you are a traditional person, you are a politician, you are a flag bearer or an MP who politicizes Galamse operations in this country. This house must take action on that person. By tomorrow, the minister should appear before parliament to brief us what they are doing to address this import, uh, uh, serious problems. We all know now there is water shortages all over in Ghana, particularly in Kumase, particularly in Mansia, where the running mate of MPP is coming from. If we are to look and investigate, you polluted the water more than us. You polluted the water more than us. I would want to urge all of us to pursue this matter and not make those civil society organizations helpless. It's a serious matter, Mr. Speaker. It is a serious matter. And we know this alienation is very expensive. Are we now going to process seawater to drink? It will cost the nation. What they are doing to address this import, uh, uh, serious problems. We all know now there is water shortages all over in Ghana, particularly in Kumase, particularly in Mansia, where the running mate of MPP is coming from. If we are to look and investigate, you polluted the water more than us. You polluted the water more than us. So while we are told that 34 major forest reserves in the country have been significantly impacted due to illegal mining, and we're told that some of the worst affected forest reserves are Upper Praman, as said yesterday, we're told that about 50% of that forest reserve is gone. Now, Subin Shelter Belt and Odan River Forest in the Ashanti region uh, are some of the areas that have been badly affected by Galamse. We have members of parliament who are now playing the blame game as to who polluted um, you know, our water bodies more than the other. And that's very disappointing, very disturbing. But we'll hear from our, um, our guests in the studio to find out what they make of this and what really um, is the plan to address this issue because Ghanaians are being poisoned by the polluted water, whether we bathe in it, whether we drink, um, whether it's used to water the plants that we're consuming on a daily basis. All that is affecting us. In fact, we've been told uh, by journalists that he was advised by a toxicologist that every Ghanaian maybe at this point should go for um, a toxicology um, test just to check how much of these metals we have in our bloodstream. We seem to be playing games with this, and this is very disturbing. But anyway, we have Nana Kwame Asafo J.I. He's a parliamentary candidate for Busume Frehu constituency. It's also one of the areas that's been impacted by illegal mining. But he's here with us, and I guess he'll give us an update on what's been done so far with regards to the announcement that community mining was going to be managed in their uh, constituency. Good morning, Nana Kwame. How are you? Good morning. Bro. I I'm hope good. you're well. Yeah, sure. sure. Mm. How are you too? I'm good. Thank you very much. Nice are you coming one. from your constituency? Yes, not okay. quite long ago. Not quite long ago. Sure. So I'm, I'm guessing that you've also been following up on Galamse in, in your community. Of course, for me, it is, it is part of the uh, issues that we deal with when we go into elections. And mm. it's part of the day-to-day <clears throat> -day activities we deal with. I see. Yeah, so I, I, have a, I have an understanding. All right. And how well, some of this. Eric Edem Agbana is uh, the parliamentary candidate for K2 North constituency. You're welcome as well. Bella, thank you so much. I hope um, everything is going well. Yeah, by God's grace. Mm. Let me say good morning to our viewers across uh, the country, especially to the good people of Ketu North. Mm. And let me use your platform to thank the chiefs and people of Ketu North for joining us on Sunday to launch our campaign mm. and also to outdoor our vision for the constituency in a document we titled Ajogbe which is my pledge and John Dramani Mohammed's pledge to the good people of, of Ketu North. And let me say that the people are demanding that um, TV3 should bring the community... Manifesto? The manifesto watch, yeah, to community our constituency. Manifesto. Yeah, community manifesto. Yes. We should bring it to our constituency. We are more than ready to 
avail ourselves because we have a, a solid vision in this mm -hmm. document which we are done on, on Sunday. And so we are inviting you publicly that Keto North cannot wait to host you and your team mm. for the community manifesto. We need to share ideas and engage in the politics of ideas, politics of development. Uh, it is only when you are speaking to the issues, to visions that you have outlined, that uh, you don't delve into the petty politicking and the indecent politics of lying or attacking personalities and all of that. So we have only 94 days to mm. elections. We are pleading with TV3 that you visit Ketu North and let's have a very good conversation on the constituency and mm. what we, we hope to do for All the right. constituency. Yeah. Well, well, I, I know we have a plan as to where we're visiting at what point, and so I'm definitely sure that Volta Region will see us there as well as all the other regions that we have not visited <coughs> yet. I must say that the Volta Region is one of my favorite places to go to. I like the beaches especially. And there's clean. just some calmness have, that yes. comes with going to the Volta region. I always say this every time I come back. I haven't been there in a while. You should, I do you hope should. that the water bodies are still very as clean, pristine yes. and clean as, very, as, very as clean. they were. But also joining us this morning via Zoom is a toxicologist. And it's important that we have that conversation with him because we're talking about mercury, lead, cyanide getting into our water bodies and eventually getting into the food that we're eating. For those who live in those communities that are swimming, because we've seen videos where some people are even swimming in the polluted water. How bad could this be um, for their health? And Yakubu Adam is joining us via Zoom. He is a toxicologist. Good morning, Yakubu. I hope you're doing well. Yakubu, can you hear me? You might have to unmute yourself um, if it's possible. Well, we'll see if we can bring him in shortly so we can have that conversation because we can't seem to connect with him um, at this point. But like I said, Yakubu is a toxicologist and so he'll be joining us. But good morning to all of you who have joined us via Zoom as well. We're grateful for your messages. Um, and, and there's a message from Michael Kojofakoti who says, such a reckless comment that someone has polluted the water more than you. Who needs... Okay, we're going to skip that. Um, let me see what else we have. Okay, they polluted the water more than you, and that is why we voted them out. Your president promised to put this presidency, his presidency on the line in the fight against Galamsey. What are we seeing? And maybe I'll start off with you, Nana, because I, I would have wanted to start with Eden, but I'll come to you first, especially based on that statement that was made on the floor of Parliament by a member of your party. He is the majority chief whip in Parliament. And this is a time when we're supposed to be looking for solutions. Already, many of us are of the view that this government has failed in the fight against corruption. And I'm sure many of you will agree to that as well. We're having conversations to figure out what we can do to fix the problem. And we have a senior member of parliament now reducing it to blame game and saying that, well, the NDC has <coughs> polluted the environment more than the NPP. Why should we even be having this kind of conversation at this time? Bella, thank you. And um, let me also take the opportunity to extend my greetings to the good people of Busumifera. I know many of them are watching, and I am grateful for the opportunity to lead and serve them. Bella, um, I think that I will come to Honorable's comment, but I have a story here, mm -hmm. which is uh, by Inu Safuseni. Akufuado is sincere in his fight against Galamsey, says Hindu Safusen. I am not interested in the heading, mm -hmm. but I want to read something he said. He said, the fight against illegal small-scale mining must be a comprehensive one, adding, I agree with the president, this is not a fight to be left for one single political party. The issue of Galamsey affects all of us. So we have a responsibility to protect the water bodies. Bella, you see, I am hoping that this discussion comes this passionate devoid of partisanship and political inclination. When it comes as such, we will end up with this discussion having preferred solutions, having given candid view, views and, and comments mm -hmm. which we believe that it is the way to go. But when the discussion now turns a bit of political game, then you'll find me pointing out to Adam the time they were in government, the things they did, because I have a litany of stories 
that were comments that were things even this news about EC, uh, Ghana water mm -hmm. talking about pollution of water mm -hmm. has been issued several times and I have dates and and times that they issued when NDC is in government but that is not the argument so I believe that the member of parliament didn't just wake up to just go and say that you polluted water more than us or you did this more than us and sometimes it becomes sad when you find people who are corporate of the same thing they are accusing you, accusing you of something. And that is where you have issues and you have people making such comments. Look, I, I, am, I come from a constituency where, <laughs> in fact, Galamse is one of the major, major issues we have to deal with. Mm -hmm. I mean, and when you are dealing with this Galamse issue and you are not careful, you would, you would, you would get your hands bent in the act of dealing with it. I have a former DC who was sacked because of a tape supposedly, I mean, I mean, implicating him on Galamse issues. Several of them in the Santi region, Mansoe Dubia and all that, even the, the, the former DC of Mansoe Dubia, even having a, a phone call mentioning Galamse and telling the people that, look, in my constituency, it is difficult to manage some of these things. He, she was sacked. In my constituency, the same happened. What's your point? My point is that we have very critical national issue eating all of us up in my place. We have a lot of river bodies that when I show you those river bodies, you cry and you ask yourself that, what's happening here? But you see, when we are going to deal with this and you do not let us deal with this as Ghanaians, as people who are concerned and you want us to deal with it as political, and scoring two political points out of them, who, who they is, will not who get is it. making this political? You, you, you see, you, your first question to me mm -hmm. was that, what do you make of the comment by the MP? That mm -hmm. was your question. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you that the comment by the MP will be born out of some of these arguments I am making. Should he even be making this statement? It is not about... Listen, no, you see, no, no, that, you see that is my like problem. Hold that, on, hold, okay. hold, hold on. Problem. It's like saying that we have two murderers. Yes. We are accusing both of them of murder. In fact, they are all guilty of it. Uh -huh. The one says that, oh, but you, you killed 10 people, so you're even worse off no, than you see, me. You are not getting when in actual fact, there's one that is killing is still continuing no, to you kill. Are, you are not getting And you instead see, of taking you see, responsibility you see, you see, for the crime I that he's committing, he's rather saying, pointing fingers at the other person. Bella, you're not getting it. I am not saying that it is wrong to accuse me. I'm not saying that. Uh -huh. But when you that you are accusing me, you are a culprit. When you, Bella, because you don't play the pol politics. But so why what, did we vote hold, them out? Hold on. You see, you see, when you check the records, the MPP virtually lost all the constituencies that Galamsey happens there. Why? Why? Because the NDC went there to tell them that when you vote for us, we will get you to continue with what you are doing. Is that, that is, really why you yes. lost in those areas? Go and check it. Go and check all the research that have been conducted. Go and check it. Everywhere in that Memphis, everywhere. We lost the seat because the NDC led a serious campaign there. And the message was that, vote for us. When we come, we will keep you working. So when such a person now comes back to come and tell me that, hey, you are doing this, you are doing this, you are doing this, because it's an election year, because you want to score key political points, then it is worrying. But when you, neutral Ghanaians, independent Ghanaians, come to us, and raise the issue and concern. We will demonstrate the effect and the actions that we are taking. And like me, I said, look, it is one that we have to come out and boldly condemn it and say that, look, Galamse, irrespective of who is involved, it is not helping us. Two, how do we intend to fight this thing devoid of partisan politics? I am, I am, I am a stakeholder. The chiefs are stakeholders. Even the people themselves are stakeholders. Why, how do we manage it? That is how now you go to the you go to both political parties and find out what their positions are or what they intend to do. Mm -hmm. Then you will see that some of them have even not relent on their decision to continue the act. No, so that is the worrying part. Look, I am worried because my enu, mm -hmm. you cannot fetch it. Eh? You cannot fetch it, and these are the same people when you try to fight it will come after you. Are you getting the point I'm making? They'll so, come after them. But in areas where mm -hmm. we're told that there are armed miners who have guns, have all kinds of weapons, mm -hmm. as a village person, who am I going to fight against? The people who have the guns? You see, you because are, per you Professor are, Fukum Watson's report, hold on, there okay. are people as high up as the office of the president mm -hmm. 
who are involved in Galamsey. Yeah. Now they have brought in people, Chinese people, to do this work. And from all that we know, these Chinese people, they are carrying weapons. In it's fact, true. there are areas where they are slapping people who attempt to even go into some of these forest areas just to cut wood to pound fufu. See, they are not being allowed to enter these forests. Bella. And you expect that these village people would go Bella. against such people Bella. who are armed? Bella. Who is bringing you in are, the excavators? You are looking at one side of the story. How am I looking at one yes. side? Tell you me. See, you are looking at the side of the story where... They are so-called big men acting. So-called? Yes. This Hold is a report from the chairman see, of the Interministerial see, Committee on take, Illegal when Mining. You take, when you take the report on its own, uh -huh. and you don't look at other stakeholders commenting on the report, the Attorney General came out clearly to say that, look, there is no evidence to back the point and the claims and allegations that have been made by Professor. Was there investigation conducted? Yes, you went check, check from the they CID. They conducted an yes. investigation and they said check there was no evidence. CID. Were all these people who were named see, in this report see, investigated? See, were see, they questioned? Yes, of course. All, all of them. them? Yes, all of them. They were questioned. All of them. Beyond your, questioning, was there them. investigation into no, these see, areas? Because listen, see, we've see, heard from the speaker. Hold on, Nana, hold on. We've heard from the speaker who is saying that some of you in parliament, the people you are dealing with are aware that you are involved in Galamsey. We've heard from um, the, the king of the Ashanti kingdom who says that 30% of those of you who are involved in Galamsey are found in this room. That day, there were members of parliament, there were ministers, the president was there. He accused them all of that. Now we hear Frank and Nodron Press saying that you people have polluted more than us. So it's an admission that some of you are involved. There have been reports on that. What has gone on beyond this report to ensure that these people are not involved or are not guilty? Akunta Mining, a whole report was released on them. We heard the president come out and say that they are not involved in illegal mining. Meanwhile, the Minerals Commission had said that the license that they had was not for mining in that forest. Till date, nothing has been done. You see. So you tell us that we're looking at it from one angle when we have people indicating that a lot of you or a number of you, you who see. are high up there are involved. When you come, Why are when you not you, admitting when you that? Come to my, you see, I, you see if it, it, it appears as though there is, there is a prejudiced position before the conversation. That's how it's it not appears. prejudice. No, hold on, hold on. Hold it is hold not on. prejudice. I am telling you that. You're I am worried. On one side. Are, are you worried more than me? I'm worried more than you. I don't you, think you are worried, no, you, Nana. You, you are not. Is the you NPP worried? I don't think you are. Is the NPP I worried? I sincerely don't think. You know, is this government worried? When you come to my constituency, you find young men who are not politicians, owning excavators, working, no political influence. And I can tell you, this, that is why I'm telling you that. When you want to deal with Galamsey, and you want to supposedly look at it from one side of the angle, you will miss it. Because the person that spoiled and rule is not a politician. He had no political hand. The person that is affecting uh, 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 Danso, the person that is affecting uh, Subri, the person that is affecting all these water bodies in my place, have, they are not kingpins in politics. The question is that, how do we as a country come down to deal with the issues? There's a role government have to play. How do we as citizens ensure that government is playing its role? How do we as members of the society, stakeholders, ensure that the other key stakeholder, the chieftaincy, the people themselves become responsible. How do we ensure it? That is the question. It is not about playing blame game and saying we have a report here. Reports that are born from personal, I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, uh, scores. Reports that's, that. That's how you reduce the report? Ah, but what is to it personal apart from scores. That? What is it apart from that? So what he said in there, none of it's really I, holds any truth. I don't have the, the, the power to do anything about that. But you have the power hold to on, describe hold on, hold the report on. as Because I read the report. Personal because score. I read the report. I read the report. And you, there was and not a single that. part of it that troubled you to the extent that I am telling you, ah, you felt Bella, people you, should you, be investigated? You, you, you seem to pick and come. Listen, I am telling you that the persons or the people who are in charge mm. to follow up with the story or the report and act on the report mm -hmm. came out to tell me, tell the whole Ghanaians Gan that we have investigated the report. There is no good evidence to persecute the individuals mentioned in the report. Who conducted the investigation? I am telling you that to read the Attorney General's report. No, I'm just asking you. And you may have read it too. And, and he made reference to the CID, wrote to the CID. The CID came. They invited some of these people. They invited a whole lot of people. When you come to my constituency, and you find, Land on and, it for me. And you find young men uh, mining, 
and you approach them and they tell you that oh honorable asafuji this is honorable asafuji site and then you go and write a report and say that honorable asafuji is involved in galamse in busumi Frenho, without evidence perhaps i have no idea and mm. some of these boys would mention big names to scare you off their sites mm. and you say that when the report come they should persecute Asafuji because a guy on the field mentioned my name. This is not just any guy. That's what I keep saying. This is the chairman of the interministerial committee. Hold on. You let's put that report aside. And I'm just ending on this so I can bring you them in. Report. Hold on. I have read the report. Yes. I said you read you are saying we should put it aside. No, I'm just coming. You are saying okay. that that report is based on personal score. You if what you are saying to some extent even may be true. Now we have the corporate affairs department of the Minerals Commission that released a statement, this was in 2022, October 4. And the title read, Akunta Mining Limited has no lease to mine in Tano Nimiri Forest Reserve. Now, this report said that, you know, the commission therefore assured the public that it was taking necessary steps to enforce the minister's directive issued on Friday, September 30th, prohibiting Akunta Mining Limited from mining in the Tano Nimiri Forest. And that is because they did not have a license. They only had a prospecting license. Then we hear from the president, who now comes to say that, oh, Akunta Mining is not engaged in legal mining. And I remember that there were a lot of CSOs that came out and said, why are you not allowing investigations to happen? As a president, why are you coming out to say Akunta Mining is not engaged? What are you hiding from everybody? See, Till date, we've not gotten to the bottom of this. As far as we are concerned, it's been brushed under the carpet because the president says Akunta Mining is not engaged. The CSOs called for investigation and prosecution. We have not seen that happen. Okay, so... So see, names have been mentioned. Who see, owns Akunta Mining? The, the, we're told... That is the Shanti Regional Chairman of the MPP who owns Akunta Mining. That's an established fact, is it not? What has you been see, done about when, it? When, when you seem to deal with this whole story, or you seem to deal with this whole Galamse issue, and there is a supposed individual or persons or group of people mm. in the mindset to attack, to deal with, we cannot and we will not. Who is attacking? Hold on. The president of this country get constant security briefing every morning, every day. We had the position of Abu Jinapo on this Numri issue, on this Akunta mining issue. Why are you not making reference to what Abu Jinapo What did said? he say? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I am telling you that the president is saying that per the records and per the information available to him, mm -hmm. Akunta cannot be surcharged or hold responsible on that numeric Was issue. it based on investigation conducted? <laughs> I mean, I don't know what you call investigation. Sincerely. No, but if, on, if the on, Minerals Commission on, comes on, out to make on, the statement, it has to be on. investigated. I don't know what you call or you, what you deem or what qualifies as investigation. But if a president who gets reports from national security, who gets reports from, report from agencies, from ministries, come to tell you something, and you call him for whichever investigation. I don't know who is supposed to do that investigation and give you that information. I don't know. It should not be investigated. Is that what you're saying? I you don't know who you. should investigate. The CID shouldn't investigate this. It uh, says no. that while you Akunta see, Mining... Please. Hold on, hold on. While Akunta Mining Limited has a mining lease to undertake mining operations in some parts of Samraboy outside the forest reserve, the company has no mineral rights to undertake any mining operation in the Tano Nimiri Forest Reserve. So they had the license, but they could not enter the forest. But as at the time this report was released, they said they had entered the forest and they were mining. So if you're asking me who should investigate this, an allegation has been made. Was there an investigation before the president came out to say that they are not involved? So, you see, that's the thing, and I need to understand that from you. Okay. Just mm -hmm. one, ten, 10 seconds, please answer this for me so I can come to Adam. I am telling you that mm -hmm. the president constantly house briefing, constantly. From all the stakeholders and all the people or persons or institutions you mentioned, he gets information from them. So if the president speaks and you think that the president's one doesn't hold water and you rather go and take an institution's one and that is what you are interested in because it serves a particular purpose, then that's fine. I should trust the president when I need an investigation I trust report. Him. So if you don't you trust, trust him, the that's president, fine. I need a report. <laughs> <laughs> so that I know that he's not trying to cover for his person. But yeah, let me bring Edem in. Fine. Let me bring Edem in. Because you've been listening to Nana. He says that, I mean, sort of blames the opposition for also politicizing this matter, which is why the majority chief whip may have made that statement. What do you say? Bella, I'm not surprised that Pastor Foje has decided to defend the reckless comments by the Honorable Anod Dompre. Outside this studio, I know 
the relationship as Afoeje has with another prayer. But you see, when we are on TV, when we are speaking to the nation, it is important for us to be sincere. It is important for us to protect the national interest as against your personal relationship with whoever. Even if I'm not done prayer, was my brother, father, or whoever. This morning, it's important for him to know that the statements he made as a senior member of parliament, those statements were reckless. Very, very reckless he statements. It on your part. On no, your so you are, you, are, you are justifying the statement and you are welcome there. Very reckless to begin with. And not done prayer made a very, shame, very shameful and reckless statement. Such statements should not be coming from members of parliament. Such an august house. You were elected to protect the interest of your constituents. We have a crisis at hand. People are not having access to clean water because of the actions of Galamse. And you, all you had to say was to admit that, yes, we are destroying, but you destroyed more than us which is not true, by the way, but very shameful, very reckless statement. You say it's not true? I will get into it. Number two. Based on what? Number two, as FOJ claims that the NDC promised to, come, uh, to allow the continuation of Galamse, which resulted in the MPP losing most of the seats around the Galamse areas, or seats around where Galamse takes place. Mm -hmm. But you just admitted that your seats... The constituency where you are Which contesting. Most you no, I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I'm coming there. Okay, you right. just admitted okay. that your seat, mm -hmm. your constituency, where you are contesting to be the next member of parliament, mm -hmm. one of the biggest challenges you had mm -hmm. is the issue of Galamse. Mm -hmm. And yet in 2020, mm -hmm. President Akufado pulled 76% of votes mm -hmm. in that area. Why? Mm -hmm. The promise that the NDC, the so called the lies that you are claiming was in the NDC's manifesto or our promises. Why the message did not get to your constituency? Again, when you check, no, I'm getting you there. just note it down for me. Journalists, including Erasmus Donko, is on record to have said that when they went to interview some of the people in those areas who voted against the NPP, their reason for voting against the NPP was that you claimed you were fighting Galamse. But you seized people's equipment and you shared it to your party apparatchiks. And so it is not as if there was even a fight against Galamse, by the way. What they did was to appropriate the illicit trade to their members, to their apparatchiks, to their party executives. Why were we not in this country where even your national women organizer was accused of engaging in illicit or in, 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 in Galamse, illegal mining? Were we not in this country? Were we not in this country when her excavators were seized and burnt, and she claimed that they were burnt not because there was really a fight against Galamse, but because there was an agenda, internal agenda against her. And so there was even no fight against Galamse. What they did was to seize concessions and appropriate these concessions and give all of this machinery, the equipment to their party supporters to go into illegal mining. Because, Bella, the only evidence, the only evidence mm -hmm. that Ghanaians can point to to say whether or not there was a fight against Galamse should have been the preservation of our water bodies. So if you have the Ghana Water Company coming out to tell you that in the past three, four years, our water production has reduced to 40% because of increased illegal mining. And you are telling us that you are really on a fight against Galamse when you have been in power for the eight years. How does this even tally? I mean, tell me, Bella, you claim that you are fighting Galamse for which reason people voted against you. And yet the evidence is that there is increased illegal mining which has resulted in the destruction of our water bodies. You went to Pra, and I challenge you and your production team, put out the video of River Pra, proud to 2017. Put it out. 
and tell us how the water body is looking now, how it was in 2016. That does not mean that the NDC or some members within the NDC were not involved, because if no, you look at Professor Frank Combo, I, I he I'm makes a statement a point. that there are far more NDC people engaged in illegal mining than NPP members in the region. Now, he was talking about um, the Ashanti region. Maybe if I could just read, because he was referring to Wasa East District, where he says a former NDC deputy minister, who is also MP for the Wasa East constituency, has been actively mining in the Supri forest for years. When MPP party officials complained and the army components of Operation Vanguard was withdrawn almost two years to the 2020 elections. The NDC was given an advantage in terms of access to resources from mining. This is because there are far more NDC people engaged in illegal mining than MPP members. This is Professor from Pombwati. Bella, our position as a party has always been that we need to combat illegal mining to save lives. We need to combat illegal mining to save the forest reserve and our water bodies. And so regardless of whoever is involved in this illicit trade, government must deal with the person. But you have a position where you have the government of the day, even the president promised that he was prepared to put his presidency on the line to fight Galamse. But all of that fight, as we are realizing now, was a scam because there was really no fight against Galamse. How was it a scam? The evidence is a scam because the only evidence of a real fight against Galamse would have been a reduction in the activities of illegal miners. But is that the case now? No. In the same report that you just read out, mm -hmm. Professor Frimpon Boatin stated that there was lack of political will at the presidency to fight Galamse. He stated mm -hmm. in the same report, he went further to say that members of cabinet High-ranking members of cabinet were the people interfering in the fight against Galamse. He accused members. And you realize he even said it was because he was fighting Galamse. That is why he was sacked. And so there was no fight against Galamse. Again, not too long ago, Ernest Frimpong, the NPP PC from Memphis East, was heard telling party supporters, part telling illegal miners, Galamseers, that you need to attack soldiers when they attempt stopping you from proceeding with this. He's made those remarks in the presence of the Western Regional Minister who chairs the Security Council. Have you heard the party sanction this he gentleman? Has, he has taken his words back. He has apologized. He, he says he was misconstrued. His words were misconstrued. But, but Bella, Bella what, what you heard? What you, what you heard? Why? When they make a statement... They have to come back and say their words were misconstrued. Why? We heard him clear. Adam, would you admit, Did you not hear him clear and loud? I mean, as you're mentioning was this the minister well, not there? Would you admit the that... The former well, local government on, minister... On, no, let me on, conclude on, on this on. before you come in, Bella. The former local government minister, Alima Mahama, mm -hmm. was heard loud and clear when she said she knew MMDCs who were involved in illegal mining. And this is coming from in-house, a cabinet minister the local government minister at the time, saying that she was aware of members of the administration, MMDCs, who were actively involved in Galamse. And so when you sit here and you paint the picture as though the NDC is just uh, making an attempt to make this issue partisan, you are not being fair to the Which fact. is why I wanted to ask you this question about former President John Dramani Mahama. When he visited one of these mining sites ahead of the 2020 general elections and promised them that if he assumes office, he's going to release those who have been arrested and jailed because he believes that with the time they spent in prison, they would have regretted their actions and so will come back and do right by the people. Now, that's also another angle of the conversation that people are having and wondering that, was that even the right statement to make at that time, that you're going to release the people President who have Ma been President involved Mahama. in President the Mahama. environment? President Mahama has always been an advocate for justice. And our position at the time was the fact that government claimed that they were fighting Galamse. They go in and arrest some vulnerable people punish them or imprison them to create the impression that they were fighting Galamse. Vulnerable in what I'm, sense? I'm going, yes, I'm okay. going. Vulnerable because obviously they did not have the political connections that the likes of Aisha Huang had. What happened to Aisha? Senior minister told us that when they arrested a Chinese, a Chinese Galamse mogul, somebody that everybody 
Neo was involved in gangantuan galamsey activities when they arrested her. You asked her to go. She found ways back into the country because she had political connections. But then you go and arrest Konimo, a vulnerable young man who was employed by some big men to just engage in Galamse without even going further to know who are the people that purchase the, the equipment, who are the people that own the concessions. And so we were of the view that if you want to combat Galamse, the target should not be just the ordinary, the vulnerable person, the vulnerable Ghanaian. Look out for the political heads. Look out for the big men and women who are financing this project. So when, I, when Ali Mahama said she knew MMDCs who were actively involved in Galamse, she should have gone further to have them also imprisoned like those people that President Mahama spoke about. When you talk about imprisoning or disciplining people, punishing people, you should be able to tell us why Aisha Huang was deported and weeks later she found her way back into this country because she had political connections with your government. Look, this fight against Galamse is an issue of existential threats. As we speak today, Bella, they are warning that by 2030, which is the six years from now, Ghana may have to import water, drinking water, mm. if the activities of Galamse continues at this pace. By 2030, we may have to be importing water. Now you have a situation where a government has been in power for eight years, claimed they were fighting Galamse, and yet the evidence, the results is that we have increased illegal mining. And that is why all our forest reserves and our water bodies have been destroyed. Then this government turns back and you have a member of parliament shamefully and ridiculously speaks in parliament and is telling you that the NDC destroyed the water bodies more. And I'm saying that, look, Bella, I don't even want to go into that petty comment that he made, but I'm challenging you and your producers. You were at Pra a few days ago. Mm. Show us the video of Pra in 2016 when the NDC left office. All right. Show us the video of Pra. Well, hold on, hold on. Let me let me just bring the toxicologist in just briefly so that you can also make a statement. And um, Yakubu Adam is a toxicologist. There's a need for us to have this conversation because we've been advised by some people to probably just go and have a to toxicology test. Every single Ghanaian, just to check if we have any traces of any of these metals, mercury, lead, um, you know, any of these poisonous substances in our bloodstream. Yakubu, thank you for joining us. I hope you're well. Thank you very much, Vela. I'm doing very good yourself. I'm good. Thank you very much. Now, what could be the worst effects of having some of these um, poisonous materials in our water, in our food, etc.? Because we know there's a study that has been conducted show, showing that there are children in these Galamse areas who are being born with defects as a result of Galamse activities. Then also, there's a high rate of kidney diseases. How bad can it be to the extent that we may have to do a toxicology test? Thank you very much, uh, Bella, and uh, good morning to your panel members and your listeners. When it comes to the issue of Galamse extraction and the mercury usage, this is a public health concern in Ghana that we need to actually focus on. Because after uh, this extraction process, the, work, the mercury ends up in our environment. That's mm. our soil and our water bodies. And, and any crop that is being grown on this, any um, fish that uh, actually survive in this water mm. ends up picking this mercury. So when anybody consumes from this, this fish or any food that is harvested on this soil that has been contaminated, you are likely to be exposed to mercury. Mm. And when you have been exposed to, to and when you have been exposed to mercury, one one thing one study uh, that was conducted find out that even children are more prone to actually uh, uh, accumulate more of this mercury than even the adults. Mm. So this actually poses a lot of threat to even the children living around the Galamsey areas and even far away from these Galamsey areas. When this mercury actually gets into our, uh, our, our, our body, you know, this mercury can be picked by through our skin contact, just coming in contact with the water body. Okay. It can be picked, consuming fish from this water bodies, you can get exposed to this mercury. And when you cultivate crops from soil that is being contaminated with mercury, you can be exposed. But one thing is that the mercury that is used for galamsey, 
when it ends up in our environment, it changes into another form of mercury, that's organic form, which we normally call it the, the metal mercury. And this is very, very poisonous than even the one that is used in the extraction after it has been converted by a microorganism in the soil or in the, in the water bodies. And when this gets into our blood, the first site of deposition is our brain. Hmm? And uh, when it gets into our brain, it can stay there for studies have shown that it can even stay in our brain for even 20 good years. And this can bring a neurological problem to us. So you'll be having people that are having a lot of uh, uh, disorder or paralysis. Because remember, it's the brain that controls the body movement or the body parts. So if this makes we accumulate in that part of the brain that controls a certain part of the body, you may end up being paralyzed or having that part of your body being uh, being napped. And aside that, aside uh, depositing in the brain, another research has shown that the main uh, site of deposition aside the brain is, is also the kidney because mm. the, uh, the, uh, the mercury is lipid in nature, that is lipophilic, and the, and the, and the kidney. What, surround, what also surrounds the kidney is also lipid. lipid. So this uh, mercury ends up binding to this, uh, uh, this kidney. And one thing is that the mercury is not supposed to be there. So your body will end up trying to fight the mercury accumulated in the kidney. And by so doing, it, it, it will end up destroying your kidney. And that can lead to kidney problem. But, but one thing about this kidney issue, this kidney issue is that when you are having a kidney problem. It mostly comes with unnoticeable symptoms, mm. meaning you can have a kidney problem without you knowing. Because you have various stages when it comes to the chronic kidney disease. You have about five stages, stage one, two, three, four, and five. You have to get to the five before you start noticing the symptoms. And by the time you get to the hospital, it is too late. And the only thing you need is dialysis or, or transplant. So that is why it is actually uh, recommended that each and everyone actually go in for this uh, uh, kidney function test. Okay. So at, at least know the stage you are in now so that uh, you don't get to the last stage that, which is irreversible and uh, which we can't do anything about that. How, how and long? Statistics have shown that. Okay. When, okay. Carry on. And statistics have shown that about 17% of, uh, about 17 of Ghanaians are currently having kidney problems. This was a, uh, a report made by uh, Dr. Opoku Ampuma, the, 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 the CEO of Kolebu Teaching Hospital last year. And uh, if this is something to go by, then we can say that about 5 million Ghanaians are currently leading, living with a uh, uh, kidney problem. But when I say kidney problem, does not necessarily mean it has gotten to the failure stage. Maybe we are in any of the stages as well. Mm. But so it is actually recommended that at least uh, every every single Ghanaian going for this patient at least to know the stage you are in, so that when you, so that you can be advised on the diet and also what. Mm. I see. Well, what well, well I, I've heard that now exposure to mercury mm. has been rampant. <laughs> now it's not just mercury. There's lead. Okay. There's also cyanide, okay, which try. we know, um, you know, are being used in some of these areas as well. Do they also pose the same risk or even far greater risks? Can you hear me, Yakubu? <laughs> yes, please. When it comes to, to Ghana... And, and make it brief for me, please. <laughs> okay. So when it comes to Ghana, we have two methods. The, mostly that we use in Ghana, the cyanide extraction and the mercury. And, and this cyanide... For that one, studies have already established that it's carcinogenic. When we are being exposed to this uh, cyanide, you are actually uh, subjecting yourself to risks of getting cancer. And this, this cause has contributed to cancer a lot. And when we come to lead, you know, these are minerals, lead, they are all heavy metals, and it is found under the, it is found in the earth crust. So as you are digging to actually, uh, or excavating to actually get your gravels, all right. Well, we'll see if we can reconnect with um, him. But let me come to Nana J so we can continue this conversation. You wanted to touch on something that Adam said. So, see, <clears throat> when we talk about the natural resources God has blessed us with, 
He blessed us with so we can mind them. What actually is the bone of contention? Is the ways, the methods we mine with. What two governments have been trying to do is to reduce the effect of these minings on our environment and our water bodies. You see, that is why I said that when we have this discussion, this passionate of political inclinations and the blame games, then we will be fine. And at the end of the day, we would help our people and prefer solutions to our people. Now, this is what Adam did. Adam came to demonstrate to you and the viewers why he thinks that MPP have failed in the fight of, against Galamsey. And even went further to say that, look, you have done this more than we did. Because when you look at Pra after 2016, and you look at Pra now, you see a huge difference. Is that not that. a fact? Oh. If you watch, eh, when we came in, into power, 2017, mm -hmm. there was a serious, huge fight against Galamsey. Abujinapo, the drones and all that. Even Inusa Fuseni, Honorable, made claims to that. The Ghana Water uh, 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 Corporation Limited came to comment government and even put uh, 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 indicate to the fact that these menace have now come down. Right. No. Yes, it's there. There are records there. You Listen. have, you no, have right. a record. I, I, I was trying to find it. I'll get you. No, oh, hold on. Hold don't on distract me. Don't distract me. No. Try, try and find no. the facts. I will, so I will do that. Because I need to know what the, the issue that no. statement. Two. The same Ghana Water have issued statements mm -hmm. way beyond your time as to how the effects of Galamsey is affecting the water bodies and even uh, caution or warn the country that they may stop production in some of their plants because of the Galamsey. Mm -hmm. Now, two, who introduced the Chinese and the Shamfines in our water bodies? You did. You did. The yes, and I, came to hold on, hold on. The Aisha one you are mentioning, the Aisha one you are mentioning, came to Ghana through you. True. The Aisha one, True. Ah, there was even a time, True. hold on, hold on, there was even a time, through the NDC, there was even a time, there was even a time, there was even a time that there were videos or there were pictures, mockery pictures of Aisha one and Musa Fuseni. There was a whole lot of this. The point I am making here is that, the point I'm making here is that, you see, when you have the one that introduced this Chinese into this country to do Galamsey. Mm -hmm. When you have the people that brought them to do, we, we didn't even have what we call alluvia mining in this country. We didn't know what alluvia mining it was until the NDC introduced the, uh, uh, the Chinese and with their chamfines. We never knew that. And then you came. Hold on, to hold, on hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And you have these people who are benefiting from the illegal mining. Look, I have a story here. If you allow me, he said, we will not sit down and allow Nanado to collapse Galamsey. Nanado has imported more security cars to reactivate the operations vanguard. So please vote for GM so that you can continue to do your Galamsey. Who made that was Kweku Bwani. Where was this statement made and when? Yes, Kweku Bwani, even before 2020 elections. And there were there are a lot of videos and pictures. I can send you all of them with Kweku Mwahene, with the NDC campaigns, the NDC campaigners going and meeting Galamseyers and telling them, no, hold on, hold on, let but, me finish my. Okay, let but me finish. All these let me finish. Really, there was an active fight against the <laughs> No, 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 you see, that is the point Where I'm making. We end you up see, with that. When, when I am fighting, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, and the fight I am supposedly waging is being used against me, and somebody is benefiting from that fight. Who you is did. benefiting? The NDC. Your people didn't benefit. No. How did we benefit? Your people were benefiting. No, there were see, key see, people. See, you, you, are, you are reducing this. I mean, this, and, this and report. I, I continue, to, I, I continue to make this point. Hold on. Is it, why I is it ask that you when a it comes to I, this report, no, you don't no, want to regard I, I, any aspect I, I, I of it? I ask you a question. But you are I ask very you a question. quick at pointing at using fingers at the I ask you a question. That you see, when you get to Bosme Freyhom, and you get to the, what do you call the Enru, and you find young men doing galamsey on their new and you catch them mm -hmm. and they tell you that oh this site belongs to honorable asafoje eh? and you write a report without following up to find out whether truly the site belongs to me what inclination do i have with the site what that what what is the evidence what is the proof and you just come out and go and sit on radio write a report say something and say that even when we go to busume Frehu, the parliamentary candidate nana kwami asafoje own sites in Bosumi Freho. When you do this, and I come here and tell you that 
You see, it is not just mere mentioning names. Because I know how these people operate. And sometimes they mention their names to scare people off. Not all of them are true. There are some that we, we, when we, we can verify and there are some that are true. But not all of the so names do you they know keep the ones mentioning. That are true? No, I, I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. And I'm telling you that, you see... But your former when, local government minister said she knew. I don't know. The Asante Hini said he knew. <laughs> you see, you see the Asante Hini, Now we heard the from the speaker Hini, yesterday Asante who said Hini, there are some of those the, of you in parliament who are involved. As, you see, Why are we I, not I naming I do not know chairman? what the speaker knows. I do not know. But as for the Asante Hini, I have followed a lot of his, uh, what do you call it, sittings mm -hmm. and, 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 and the interventions he has made in some of these areas. So I know he's doing a good work when it comes to the Galamsey. Even when I know in my area, even when you mention the name of Otufo, that if you don't stop this, Otufo will hear it. They get scared that when you mention the soldiers and the police. Mm, that they tells, get scared. Yes, that but, but when the president says it, they don't hold, get scared. Hold on. No, the president don't come there. The president don't come. But no, Otufo but the president has the puts his presidency on the see, line. So... My point The president here, introduced Operation my, Vanguard my, through my, his ministry. My, but you see, you find people, you find people going had, to tell the Galamsees. We had Operation Galamsees. You find people going to we tell We had Operation Halt, one, two, three. We've had all sorts of names before we came to power. My point here is you that. See, you see, yes, you, you have a Nana problem. Kwame. And I also have a problem with that. I, I, my problem is that we you. have a situation that we are talking about. And it appears on, that it appears that the one moderating the situation has a certain position. And when you go. Do you know there, what my position is? That is it. My, no, position, my, my position is that. Is that, that you know, I no, am troubled. See, no, I am being poisoned. Ghanaians are being poisoned by the water. I found a gentleman who says that they are watering their crops with the polluted water. Only God knows where that crop is going to. Yes. And you, you think don't I don't have, have a right to get exhibit, worried about it? You don't exhibit being worried on I, set here. Why don't why? I? I, Am I? No, 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 I'm telling you that. You ah. see, that is why I'm telling you that. When the three of us, Look, the, three of us, the, the three of us, the three of us, when we Let's want to this. mention or talk about who is closely worried and affected, and directly have effect on him. It is me, why not none you? of you. Why? Because I have the man that's going on in my constituency. No, you see, hold on, hold on. But at the same time, we are not getting hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You have his going on in your constituency. Adam doesn't understand that. But we're also buying food from these areas. No, he doesn't even know what it takes. He doesn't even understand the effects of Galamse. He doesn't have, based on the fact that he's only theoretical about Galamse, he doesn't have any practical experience. And you're saying this based on. Because, go, go. Go to uh, Kitu and show me where one site in your area. So, 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 so I need, no, so I need no, from no, so I'm telling you that. So, very, no, so I'm making a point that, that where you are from, that should determine you where you are from. Where you are from. Where you are from. You see, where you are from. Very ignorant. You see, very ignorant. Hold on, Edem. Hold on, Edem. Where you are from. Where you are from. Where you are from. Where you are from. Gives you an experience. Gives you a hand on, I mean, experience about what is happening. The point is clear. I am telling you. That the discussion we are having here, and when I, was, I, started, I started my presentation, mm -hmm. I told you that let us take po politics out of this discussion and prefer solutions and tell Ghanaians that we believe that when we do this, when we do this, when we do this, this is but what will help. None of us, none of us have preferred any solution. Even to the point that the NDC that sought to be polluting the people against the government and sought to make gains from the Galamse are hereby making it look like, look, we are going to continue the Galamse menace. Vote for us. The people who are fighting it ah, will come for that. When did who, who said they'll continue the Galamse menace? Who said the NDC said that? Hold on, hold on. Did he hear that from Adam, I'll let you finish. Hold on. I'll give you time. Don't worry. I need to understand what he said. When, when, when GM makes who a statement that, that he, he is coming back to grant amnesty to the Galamse, those who were arrested mm -hmm. doing Galamse. What is the implication? Can I quote what he said? What is the can I quote, quote, quote what he said? Okay, so this what is what he said. said. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Just Let me just, just make it. You. So today they are but still in prison. Hold on. To. That Chinese Galamse queen was arrested by the it, left to go scot free. Yes. She was never prosecuted, but our people are in jail suffering. That is not true. When I'm quoting, this is a quote. I'm telling you, the quote Hold is not on. true. Oh, it's not true. So we call the Galam one, ah, one as wait, a let me learn. Hold on. Hold on. When we come, we shall grant all those arrested and jailed amnesty. They will come back to their homes and work. I believe they have suffered enough, shown remorse for whatever they have committed. We will institute measures to check the operations of small-scale mining. This is what the former president said. And I'm is he not referencing the fact say, that the people say, who are rather behind the Galam say uh, have been left to go scot free and it is the others who cannot see, afford that's the point I have with you. That is the point I have with the whole discussion. And I made examples that if you arrest somebody 
and the person believes that I am the one financing him, and the person is not able to make the claims at court that, hey, honorable, honorable judge, Mr. Safuje gave me the champagne, Mr. Safuje gave me the excavator, we are working for Mr. Safuje, these are the evidence that proceeds goes into the account of Mr. Safuje, and you are prosecuted. Who then, how do you now make the claim that there is a, a, Mr. Saf, a certain Mr. Safuje somewhere who is financing these people and they have persecuted the people and they have left Mr. Safuje? These are the powerful people. No, but you see, these how are powerful, powerful are they? People. Do we have records and do we have claims okay. that they have been evidence Bella. to Bella. show that a certain individual is the one who bought the champagne, okay. one who is financing, and the person, the certain individual has been next to us. Bella, Bella. 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 And when you say Bella. that Bella. ignorance and ignorance, you are very ignorant. What's yeah. the point? You see, Asafoji has made a lot of very ignorant statements. Very, very ignorant statements. You are very ignorant. You are very ignorant. You make the claim by the position that you've preferred this morning, you are claiming that if you are not coming from um, areas where illegal mining takes place, you cannot even talk about Galamse. That is what you are saying. And it's very ignorant, very childish statement to make. In, in fact, in 2017, when the media coalition launched the campaign against Galamse that the government jumped on, Ken Asigwe and Co, who are part of that fight, who were leading the fight, are they coming from Galamse areas? Bella, are they coming from? No, no, no. You are claiming that. I didn't let you know. I didn't interrupt. No, you can't just shut up. No, no, shut up. No, no, because I kept going. No, shut up and let me finish. Let's not shut up and let me finish. When you are speaking, 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 when you are when you are speaking, 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 when you are if you you are allow Adam to land because you're making no, it up. No, now no, I have to go. No, I kept quiet. No, no, no. Bella, if you do that, no, 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 you see, because of that, my producers are not allowing us to continue because of what you're doing. I'm sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You should correct me where I said you should. Hold on. You are very ignorant. And you are arrogant about your ignorance. Bella, if you don't allow the show no. to go on, you are not being fair to me. Hold on, if hold on. Because As if it's you, a lot of people. No, give him time. Our time, time is, is already up. I'm not happy about it. You see, you're not you happy about like what? You, talk, you said something. You said something. Talk about it. Oh, but that's what you, you said. Talk about it. No, so hold, hold on. You but you said hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I told you not sit down. No, don't sit down. You're just avoiding a debate. Unfortunately, no, 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 no. If you can't tell me at this point, you're not being fair to me. I know, I, I'm, I'm sorry about that, but when he was feeling his ignorance. Asafoje, 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 why are you doing this? You have I told you, you not sit down. Not sit down. That is what this sentence is. Not sit down. Let me just go. When you were speaking, when you spoke, I stopped him from speaking. Now it's his turn. How am I not helping? I'm leaving this to the viewers to judge because they've been watching as well. Have I been unfair or it's been your fault? Hold on. Let me hear from that. No, I need to hear from my director first because already. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Spill a lot of ignorance. Can I let him continue? To Let me give him just about two minutes or so, exactly. so he can please, exactly. director. Yes. Let Adam just land on this that, point, please. Fair to me. Please, Adam, speak. Yeah, very good. So now, Bella, back to the point. You are making the claim that if there is anybody being affected, it is you because there's Galamse in your constituency. And I'm telling you, why? When the Ghana Water Company released. Their statement warning that we we'll have to import water. We we'll import water only to the areas where Galamse is taking place. You, you really do not even understand what this fight is all about. Look, we have come to a situation where the government of the day is the worst corporate in this Galamse fight. 
The government of the day is the worst corporate. Look, when you go to the military camps today, speak to senior officers. They are all of the view that today, the fight against Galamse and the operation Galam Stop mm -hmm. is more lucrative than even going for peacekeeping. Because people in government are using this fight against Galamse to appropriate mining equipment. So when they seize it from person A, they allocate those items. Why were we not in this country when excavators that were seized from miners got missing? Remember about over 500 excavators got missing. Where did those, where, where did those excavators the go to? said that was cooked. Cooked, cooked against by Against him. It was cooked, cooked against him against by his own him, people. By his own people. But were the excavators seized? Were we able to locate them? No. And so you have a situation where members of government, and I'm not surprised he's putting up this attitude because certainly they don't want us to go into the issues. Bella, even when there was a video evidence against the Secretary of the Inter-Ministerial Committee, mm. President Akufado cleared him. So clearly you have a president who has failed the fight against Galamse. You have a president who has shown no commitment against the fight, uh, the fight against Galamse. What we have today is a president and a vice president and an entire government who have benefited from illicit mining. And for that matter, mm. only guarding, only pro pro promoting and protecting members of the NPP who are engaged in Galamse. And we have said, and you go into our manifesto, from 2025, the NDC government will embark on an aggressive plan to stop illegal mining. And one of the ways by which we, ought, or we, we are planning to do this is to ensure that find a way of regulating small-scale mining by regulating and granting them licenses, then they can properly be regulated such that the activities will not be dangerous to the environment. Mm. And that is clearly stated in our manifesto. Bella, look, if there is anything the NPP has achieved in the fight against Galamse in the last eight years. It is nothing but just noise about it. The actual corporates are in government. Members of their, their executive, MMDCs, mm. members of parliament. That is why I'm not surprised such reckless statements can be coming from members of parliament that you have polluted the water more than the look. Where we are today, we are at a crossroad. The good people of Ghana are looking for a president and a government that will be committed to the real fight against Galamse. The good people of Ghana are interested in people who will come and protect the forest reserves. The good people of Ghana are interested in people who will come to government and protect our water bodies. So that by 2030, we may not have to be importing water from elsewhere. Mm. And I believe that it will take John Dramani Mahama to reset this country and return it back to the, on, on the path of progress right. and development. But what we have today is a group of hoodlums, a group of people who are so corrupt, who are so corrupt that every activity of government, every program of government is an avenue for them to loot. They have failed the fight against Galamse. It was nothing but a scam. And the evidence is the water bodies that you, Bella, you went to see a few days ago at Prague. Right. That is the evidence. I, I hope you that is their to... mark. I, I hope you're referring to those in government as the hoodlums, because that's quite an extreme statement. Bella, make. I'm telling you that the evidence of their failed fight against Galamse, All right. the we'll evidence of their sponsored fight against uh, Galamse, which has failed, is the water right. bodies that you, Thank Bella, you. you went to experience you, a few days ago. Good morning to Mr. Edward Carrie, where he's the former General Secretary yeah. of the Agri Workers, yeah. General Agri Workers Union. And he says that, good morning, Bella. I'm extremely sad to hear the Honorable MP. Hold on. Um, um, I'm, hold on, Nana, I'm not done with you. Um, I missed my train of thought. Good morning. I'm extremely sad to hear the Honorable MP speaking to dismiss every suggestion put forward to solve the Galamse problem. Yet, his claim of a solution is to blame the opposition for blaming the government. How on earth should the government of the day, instead of solving the Galamse problem, rather blame everyone for their failure? I ask you to note something down so that you can say it. Nana. Simple. I don't know how we went about all the circles. I then made a claim that I am saying that if you are not from a Galamsey area, you cannot speak aga about Galamsey. How can I make that statement? I oh, thought you said, oh, no, 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 no. Hey, Bella, yeah, that Adam, is what he said. Allow him to speak. That is what you said. No, no, you no, said no, no, because no. there's no Galamsey in Ketu North, when he was I cannot, I will not even understand. Allow him, allow him to make that statement. So that's what he allow said. Allow him to explain Don't what? let him lie hold that he didn't say Hold on, You said because there was no Galamsey in Ketu North. Is that not what you said? when he was doing that, I said it was unfair. And I'm saying that. Let him make that statement. Don't let him lie. Why? Hold on. If you have realized on second thought, 
that what you said earlier was wrong. So Just I'm admit. To make that you cannot be ignorant and, and arrogant at the same time. No, no, please carry You on. cannot be ignorant Adam, and arrogant Adam, at the please. same time. You said there was Adam. no Galamse in Ketunov. So Adam. I do not even understand what Galamse is. So can he make a statement? No, but that's what he said. Hold Why on. is he trying so to polish it? Why we all heard it. The viewers he's heard not, it. He says he's trying and to. And if you want to withdraw it, just admit and withdraw. Hold on. So but allow don't be arrogant about the mistake you made. You cannot be ignorant and arrogant at the same time. Let them understand that. But that is what you said. There's no score to settle. Nobody is setting in this call. That he has no score. But why? I am Did I force also, you to make those ignorant statements? Yeah, and I am also entitled to but tell him. the statements to that you made. His mouth. Yes, yeah, no, I'm also entitled oh, to, yeah. to yeah. tell him. No, when he was making the point, I was also yeah. entitled nah, nah. to tell him. But nah, nah. if you the want, if you have a second thought, if you have a second thought, no, Bella, we don't have the time. He wanted to make a statement. I'm saying that. Can you allow him to make that statement? No, he made a statement. We all heard him loud and clear. This is funny. Okay, so we have to go, unfortunately. It doesn't look like we'll arrive at any amicable solution at this point. Nana Kwame Asafo, a J I as the parliamentary candidate for Bosumi for a whole constituency. Adam, Eric Agbana, parliamentary candidate for K2 North constituency. We also spoke to a toxicologist earlier, Yakubu. Thank you as well. For all of you who have sent messages, I apologize, I cannot read them. Um, but we have community manifesto coming up as well. Keep watching, we'll be right back.